So basically, um, my dump load controller, uh, which I had in use last year, was a mess like this. And uh, whilst it did work, uh, I was pretty ashamed to show it off and uh, someone did pick up on that. So why did I put in a dump load uh, controller of sorts? Well, what I wanted to do is throughout the year, uh, month by month, is see exactly how much power came through the system. So by uh, charging up the batteries when the batteries were full, I didn't want that excess power to be uh, of sorts wasted. I wanted to count it somehow. So by introducing uh, a load that turned on a certain voltage and drew power out of the batteries, so uh, you'll see that we have a countdown timer uh, and obviously a light as a load. And after 15 seconds, this one will switch off. I didn't realize there was going to be some flicker on that, but there is. It goes off. So what, what in essence we had was a, uh, a voltage sensor, a timer, and a big relay. Uh, now obviously the system runs off of uh, 24 volts, which is actually 28 volts. So uh, we have a 12 volt supply. Uh, we have uh, our timer running on 12 volts. We have our voltage sensor running on 12 volts because I bought the wrong one. And we have our relay running on 12 volts. So it's, <laughs> it's not as efficient as it could be. And several people did recommend uh, producing my own circuit out of uh, various components and things and making it work that way. However, I haven't got the time to invest in such a project. Uh, so this next coming year, we are going the same way we are going. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we are going to go the same way and have our dump load run the same way. However, we're going to make it a little bit more neat. Just wait for this to go off. Now, it's going to fit on this bit of alley splash, so I've got some holes to drill and make uh, good and get some PCB standoffs. And once I've mounted it on that and the cable's gone through and they're all terminated in the back, I'm going to put it in this second-hand uh, CCTV box. It was in a box before, but it never actually got finished. Um, and our 12-volt uh, relay will be switching an inverter. We'll see how long this relay lasts on that. So our dump load will be around... 400 watts so we'll be able to dump 400 watts ish into water so let's um draw some holes and uh mount this up well today didn't go quite as planned and i managed to get it done in a day with the components i had if i didn't mention before i actually failed to get into the timer menu on this device which would just save me uh using this one here uh, and uh, obviously less components, less chance of going wrong, but in fact we are using a relay to control the relay to control the relay. So it's not uh, as uh, efficient as it should be, but we're going to live with it for another year until I can come up with a better plan. Taking the voltage up now to 12 volts. Things seem to start working around 9 volts, 10 volts. All right, so 12 volts is where we want our devices to receive their power, well, obviously the, the, that's no more, no less. And uh, obviously our solar array will be charging our batteries up. And hang on, I'm just trying to look at two screens here. Uh, I don't really want to take my uh, new, or should I say my new old power wall any lower than 25.5 really. So uh, we'll go up a bit further. Panels charging the batteries, almost charged. And there we go, let's put a load on for example, and our temporary dump load is working away. It's only on 15 second timer, goes down, or three, two, one, and off. And then obviously our charge controller hasn't ceased uh, charging yet, it's still going. So it thinks a load has been put on, obviously I'll take it down far enough, far enough there. And then our panel voltage pushes through, and the load is on. After a little while, it clicks off. And then obviously, we'll continue charging. As long as the sun is out and charging the batteries, uh, it will keep, it will hopefully keep the system below a certain voltage, keep the charge controller in play and dumping uh, power into my new old water heater. 
so the next time you'll see this device is when I actually uh, put the water on the heater on the wall and wire this in. We're going to have a 6mm uh, supply from the 24 volt side. So the spy comes in, it has a small lead out which uh, splits off and obviously uh, comes up to here. We need a 24 volt supply here. It also goes away to the sense coil or sense part of this chip. Uh, and uh, obviously we have 12 volts power in this, this and this. So when this says it's above 28.2 uh, volts, it's gonna trigger through the orange wire, this device here, this counts down. I um, normally set it to 200 seconds, three, about three minutes. And uh, it has its own 12 volt supply. Goes through the orange, <laughs> goes through the orange. Where does it go? It goes down to here. Uh, through this connector back up on the purple to this relay turns this relay on this has 24 volts in 24 volts out this is temporary um, I'll take my negative uh, supply from elsewhere once I've got this all up and running um, this one down here will be for the uh, thermostat inside the immersion heater so uh, once it reaches uh, 75 degrees or 80 degrees then uh, that will open circuit and uh, obviously will not be able to run the big 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 relay so yeah I'm kind of pleased with that so I'm sure lots of people are going to be like yeah it's your program and Arduino to do things and that and electronics make your own uh, I've had several comments before but unfortunately I haven't got the time the technical knowledge <laughs> to put into it uh, more than anything it's the time learning a new system which is uh, dragging me down but as I say this lasted a year uh, so far, the other one lasted a year. Uh, did have some smoke out of it at some point. So, uh, at some point, so I did. Uh, I've changed this and uh, have a dedicated supply here, rather than having a 24 volt supply and a 12 volt supply. So, yes, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to clean this case up before I mount everything in there nicely. It needs to use a couple of bolts in the back. Might give this a lick of paint if I can find a spray can that's uh, actually got some paint left in it. You know, so it'll give it pretty up. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I will see you in my next video. Cheers.